Hey everybody, it's Tommy from Riot City Studios, and I really hate it when YouTubers ramble before their videos. So today we're going to do pitch correction on vocals with an auto-tune plugin and Cubase's built-in pitch correction. We're going to use them both at the same time, and it's really easy and fast. Let's check it out. All right, so we have the session open here, and um, this is the vocal track we're going to be looking at. So we have one part of this is the auto-tune that I just leave on the track. And notice I just leave it on chromatic um, because I find that even <laughs> very rarely does a specific key work for a whole song. or And I, I don't like to have to worry about that. Um, so I just leave it on chromatic and that's part of this whole thing. It's very quick and easy to do. You can put it on chromatic. That's not going to be perfect. Even if the singer is like way out, then auto-tune's going to um, quantize it to the wrong pitch um, and that's where we go in and just kind of fix things here and there i leave it on a pretty moderate setting um, it's not very aggressive um, so and that's that's all part of this too so i can let auto-tune do a little and then i will do a little manually and this is pitch corrected already so i'm going to go ahead and reset it reset pitch changes okay you see things shifted back to where they were all right, now let's play it and go through. This is with auto-tune, so let's check it out. I found myself looking into the mirror, knew I wasn't who I wanted to be. Check that out again now. I found myself looking into the mirror, knew I wasn't who I wanted to be. Much better already. So we can go through this one down too. I wasn't who I wanted to be. I might like it a little sharper. Um, and then let's just keep doing that. Maybe no, I wasn't who I wanted to be. I was living like the way that I wanted, but my eyes reminded me I'm not free. Some of these are a little tricky. Let's try that. But my eyes reminded me I'm not free. Believe it or so, everything that I know says I'm gonna go, try to go and solo. But I'm never gonna go there again. So there you go um and you know we've basically done a quarter of the song right there um and and it's as you can see it's really quick and easy to do and as you as you do more and more of this you kind of get a sense of where um the frequencies need to be hitting like a, there's like a lot of sharps or flats in this so i'm not even sure what key it's in but uh you know we see like a flat uh d flat or c sharp um e and you don't need to know music theory to do this. The oral theory actually helps more than the written. I can, you know, in school they, they made us sing, sight sing and sing intervals. So I got pretty good at, at hearing the different intervals. Um, so when he's off or when a singer is a little bit off, I can usually kind of play it back in my head and think, oh, okay, that should be a half step, not a, a whole step or whatever. But again, this is the quick and easy method and you, you don't really need to know any of that to do this. Um, so there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I found myself looking into the mirror, knew I wasn't who I wanted to be. I was living like the way that I wanted, but my eyes reminded me I'm not free. Believe it or so, everything that I know says I gotta go, try to go and solo, but I'm never gonna go there again. Found myself looking into the mirror, knew I wasn't who I wanted to be. I was living like the way that I wanted, but my eyes reminded me I'm not free. Believe it or so, everything.
in the eye now Says I got a girl trying to go 